This is the third video out of three on the topic moving trihedral of space curves. Let's continue. The three mutually perpendicular vectors, unit tangent, unit normal, and unit binormal vectors, determine a coordinate system in 3D space, which is called Frenet frame or simply TNB frame. So here's an illustration. So we have here a point P on a smooth curve C. We define the following planes through the point P. So we define the oscillating plane to be the plane formed by the unit tangent and the unit normal vectors. We define the rectifying plane, this red plane, to be the plane formed by the unit binormal and unit tangent vectors. And finally, the normal plane, which is this green plane, to be the plane formed by the unit binormal and the unit normal vectors. So before we proceed, we note here two things. First, the point P, which is a point on this smooth curve, is also a point on each of the planes. So it is a point on the oscillating, rectifying, and normal planes. Also, let's note that the unit binormal vector B is perpendicular to the oscillating plane. Similarly, the unit tangent vector T is a vector that is perpendicular to the normal plane and the unit normal N is a vector that is perpendicular to the rectifying plane. So we will use these things in the next example. Example 6. Let C be the space curve defined by R of T equals 2 cosine T comma 2 sine t comma t. So find the moving trihedral of c at t equals 3 pi over 4. And then give equations of the osculating, rectifying, and normal planes of c at the point where t is equal to 3 pi over 4. So for number 1, we are looking for the unit tangent, unit normal, and unit binormal vectors. So from the vector equation r of t, Let's first get r prime. And r prime of t is equal to minus 2 sine t, comma 2 cosine t, comma 1. And it follows that its norm is equal to the square root of 4 sine square t plus 4 cosine square t plus 1, which is just the square root of 5. And so, the unit tangent vector t, which is defined to be uh, r prime of t over the norm of r prime of t is equal to this vector. So this first component over the norm, comma, second component over the norm, comma, 1 over the square root of 5. So at t equals 3 pi over 4, the unit tangent vector t is just this vector. So verify that we will get this vector. Okay, next, let's determine n of t, the unit normal vector. So the unit normal vector is equal to t prime of t over the norm of t prime. Um, so from this uh, line, let's get t prime of t. So we have this one. So derivative of the first component, comma, second component derivative, comma, zero. And then we get the norm of t prime of t, which is just 2 over square root of 5. And so the unit normal vector n is equal to the vector whose components are, so first component of this over the norm, comma, second component over the norm, comma, 0. So here it is. Okay. So at t equals 3 pi over 4, we just evaluate this, and we get n at 3 pi over 4, which is this vector. And finally, we can determine the unit binormal vector b at 3 pi over 4. And that is just the cross product of t and n. So we have b equals t cross n at 3 pi over 4. Getting the cross product, we will get this vector. So verify that you will get this vector. 
Okay, so in the question number two, we want to form the equations of the planes, uh, osculating, rectifying, and normal planes. So to form the equation of a plane, we need two things. First, we need a point on the plane. And second, we need a vector that is perpendicular to the plane. So let's begin by determining a point on the plane. But actually, we know from a previous slide that um, a point on the plane is the point corresponding to t equals 3 pi over 4. So I would like to go back to the given so we can determine a point p on the plane. So given this vector equation r, let's evaluate this at t equals 3 pi over 4 and we will get the so r of 3 pi over 4, that is the vector minus square root of 2, comma, square root of 2, comma, 3 pi over 4. Hence, the point P, whose coordinates are minus square root of 2, square root of 2, 3 pi over 4, is a point on the osculating, rectifying, and normal planes. So let's go back. So here is the point P, which we have determined. Next, we know that the unit binormal vector B is a vector that is perpendicular to the osculating plane. Hence, an equation of the osculating plane is, so this one. So this is the unit binormal vector perpendicular to the osculating plane. So we have first component of b times x minus minus square root of 2 plus second component of b times y minus square root of 2 plus the third component of b times z minus the third coordinate of b. So z minus 3 pi over 4 equals 0. So this is the equation of the osculating plane. We form the other two equations similarly. So for the rectifying plane, a vector that is perpendicular to this plane is the unit normal vector, which is uh, given here. So we form the equation of the rectifying plane. So here it is. So square root of 2 over 2 times x minus negative square root of 2. So this is the first term. Plus, actually minus square root of 2 over 2 times x minus square root of 2, oops, sorry, y minus square root of 2, so here it is, plus the third component, the third term is 0, so equals 0. This is the equation of the rectifying plane. Finally, for the equation of the normal plane, the unit tangent vector is a vector that is perpendicular to this plane. So hence, the equation is given here. So these are the components of the unit tangent vector and these are the coordinates of the point P. So equals 0. Okay, so in the next slide we see here a video clip showing the T and B frame. So play. Okay, so here we see the space curve which is the graph of R of T in the previous example. So at each point on the smooth curve, we can see the T and B frame, so which consists of the three mutually perpendicular vectors, the unit tangent, unit normal, and unit binormal vectors. So as mentioned earlier, we can use the moving trihedra, these three unit vectors, to describe the path of a particle in space. Okay. So this concludes the lecture on the moving trihedral.